In this video we're looking at the AGM 84A Harpoon an all-weather over the horizon anti-ship missile. The goal of this channel is to go beyond understanding the how of simulation and to educate on the why. Please consider supporting the channel and its mission through Patreon. The link is in the description. We start over the Sokcho Airbase in a Block 52 F-16D loaded with four AGM 84A Harpoons. Our target is the Soviet aircraft carrier, the Kuznetsov, which is cruising off the North Korean coast with its battle group. To set steer point 7 as active, press ICP4, ICP7 and ICP Enter. To engage automatic steer point switching, press DCS right. Press DCS left to return to the CNI page. Press ICP2 to view the ALO page. Later we will set TFR SCP to 1000 feet. Set CARA ALO to SCP minus 10%. To set MSL floor to transition altitude in Korea, enter 14000. Above TFR advisory altitude, the attitude advisory function is disabled. AAF provides head down advisory when exceeding specific pitch and or roll attitudes when using TFR. Return to the CNI page. To maintain altitude and turn to steer point 7, set autopilot pitch to altitude and roll to steering select. In position. To enable search on the TWA panel, press the search button. An S symbol will now be displayed on the radar warning receiver when the EWS detects a search radar before its acquisition symbol will be displayed. We will use terrain following radar to approach within 80 nautical miles of the battle group. For more information on TFR, click the link in the description. To select tier 4 on the left MFD, press OSB 14 and OSB 17. Select normal mode with OSB 20. To set SCP at 1000 feet, press OSB 6. Note that because airspeed is below the 360 knot minimum operating speed, the airspeed scale is flashing, limit is displayed on the hood, and a yellow flashing TFR limits box is displayed on the TFR MFD page. When airspeed is 360 knots minimum, to activate automatic terrain following, press the advanced mode push button indicator. Active illuminates in green when auto TF is enabled. Note that altitude hold is disabled and the aircraft begins to descend to the desired altitude. Retard the throttle during the descent to manage airspeed. To select air to ground master mode, press the air to ground ICP button. FCR is selected on the left MFD. To select C mode, press OSB 1 and OSB 8. C mode is optimized to find ships. Select MRM override using the dogfight slash MRM override switch. To turn off external lights, set the master light switch to off. Confirm master arm is set to arm. To return to the air to ground master mode, set the dogfight slash MRM override switch to the center position. We will now configure the harpoons on stations 3, 4, 6 and 7. To select the weapon page on the right MFD, press OSB 14 and OSB 18. We're looking at the Harpoon on Station 4. RBL mode is active. Harpoons can use one of three launch modes. In RBL mode, the Harpoon will use speed coordinates to locate the target. BOL mode is used when approximate target bearing is known, but not its exact position. No search area or priority options are available. Loss is a backup mode, used when avionics malfunction. The aircraft must maintain straight and level flight for 40 seconds before and after launch, the missile seeker activating shortly after boresight launch. Search area is set to large. 
large expands at longer ranges, while small and medium are fixed area modes. The large option is recommended at longer ranges to compensate for ship movement during time to the target. Search priority is set to normal. When set to normal, the search pattern starts at the centre of the area and expands outwards. 4 starts the search at the bottom of the search area and first expands to the left and right, moving towards the centre. Left starts at the left, expanding front and back, then moves to the right. And right starts at the right, expands front and back, then moves to the left. Flyout mode can be set to high or low. With high selected, the missile remains at a higher altitude initially, descending at 10 nautical miles from the launch point in RBL mode, and at the set enable range when BOL mode is used. When low is selected, the missile immediately descends to low altitude. Low provides protection against earlier detection, but increases the risk of hitting obstacles. Set flyout mode to high. Terminal maneuver can be set to pop up or skim. When set to pop up, the missile executes a pop up maneuver to enable a top attack impact, while skim targets closer to the waterline, an option which may be preferred when attacking small vessels. Terminal maneuver is set to pop. Missile off indicates that the missile is not powered. Pre launch information is displayed below the launch status divider line. Target steer point missile time of flight if the missile was fired now and system time of impact if fired now. Step to station 6 with the missile step side stick button. Use the same settings but set flyout to low and terminal maneuver to skim. Step 2 station 3. Set flyout to high and terminal attack to pop. Step to the last missile on station 7. To change the launch mode to BOL, press OSB1 and OSB19. We will change seeker activation and self-destruct range from their default values. To change seeker activation range, press OSB20 and enter the desired range. To change self-destruct range, press OSB19. Set fly up to high and terminal attack to skim. Note the LSDL is only present in RBL mode. To monitor the air-to-air -air situation, select MRM override. 85 nautical miles from steer point 7, set the dogfight slash MRM override switch to the centre position. Set tier 4 to standby. and initiate a climb to 15,000 feet to spot the battle group on the FCR. Set the left MFD to FCR. With the battle group visible on the FCR, select the expander view by pressing OSB3. Place the radar cursor over the largest return and designate it to SPI with TMS up. Set the right MFD to SMS. Step to station 4. To power the missile on station 4, press OSB 7. Select the weapon page with OSB 14 and OSB 18. The RBL range scale and carrot is displayed on the hood. The dynamic range starts at 67 nautical miles. When the missiles are in range, the out of range warning will disappear. Two, Wait for the missile not ready warning to disappear, then press and hold weapon release on the side stick until weapon release. Note that weapon release takes several seconds. Loser. Launch information moves above the LSDL and is now post launch information. Post launch information for the last two missiles fired is displayed. Step through station 6 and 3 and repeat the process to fire the second and third missiles. Cruiser. 
Step to station 7 and power the missile. No dynamic range scale is displayed. Fire the last harpoon. Cruiser. You may now set MRM override, update steer point, and use autopilot or TFR in blended mode to egress the area. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe.